Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Barcelona, and I'm with Sri and Tom, and we're talking about how mobile and cloud computing are absolutely essential to one another. And maybe you could give a little background on how that came about, Sri. Hey, uh, it all started in 2008, right, when that little family company went out of business, and uh, you know, mobile started to take off. And at that point in time, when the world went into economic recession, at least the Western economies went into economic recession, you know, there was this need to eke out efficiencies, right? And there were a lot of people, you know, who were asked to work from home. Teleworking became a big thing. And when you ask people to work from home, right, you need a space to collaborate somewhere in between. You know, the word cloud, which was then a very sexy term, became very, very relevant to enterprises. In addition to that, cloud actually means multi-tenancy, right? So you're taking one system and sharing that system among multiple people. And uh, you know, cloud became absolutely prominent. And at the same time, with all the mobile devices, uh, you had this huge problem. They were resource constrained. And it didn't have enough memory, and you needed, to, you needed a space in between to collaborate. And cloud became absolutely relevant. I'll give you a, uh, an amazing example. Uh, when I was flying to Barcelona, I had this need to transfer some data from my Android tablet to my iPhone. There was no way to do that until I landed. You know, I had to connect through the cloud to like, get that connection going. So cloud is very relevant to our lives. And as the mobile world has taken off, you know, the cloud has become more and more prominent. So, so how is the cloud playing into uh, HP's world today? Sure, one of the great examples just to build on what Sri had to say was thinking about the data itself that backs these applications. The mobile devices that Sri is talking about are the point at which we consume the data. Now, does that data have to be resident on the device for us to consume it? Absolutely not. You know, what, one of the things HP is doing with this cloud, whether it's a public cloud or a private cloud deployment, is it can serve as a scale repository for our backend data. So the mobile devices themselves can be the point at which we consume the data, but it doesn't necessarily have to be resident there. So moving away, that, I mean, that, that's appropriate for consumer and for business. If we think about an example that's a little more targeted towards the, towards the enterprise, especially the scale enterprise, is analytics. We want to be able to consume the results of massive computational exercises on our mobile devices, yet these devices don't have the data repository local or the computational ability to do that number crunching. The cloud can provide both. So, so kind of the, uh, the, cl the cloud is the, the bridge between all these pieces of data? Yeah, you know, just extending what he said, right? These mobile devices have a lot of sensors, an iPhone 5, has seven sensors, Samsung Galaxy S4 has nine sensors, and these sensors are sending data back to the cloud. And you will see this deluge of data being stored in the cloud. You know, the biggest natural resource now is data because you can actually sift through the data and actually deliver and create and deliver value. Going further, right? You have the world of mobiles, the next wave is the world of hypermobiles, you know, the world of wearables, the internet of things. You're gonna see more and more data being pushed to the cloud, and analytics is gonna play a huge, huge role. So going further, now you have around 9 billion devices, around 5.2 billion mobile devices today, right? By 2020, you know, most of the world, you know, are talking about 50 billion devices or almost a trillion devices. All the data is gonna reside somewhere and the cloud is going to play a huge, huge role. So, and, and the desire to consume that data with location independence is going to continue to, to increase. The ability for us to do our entire professional careers via mobile devices is a reality today, and we'll be continuing to be able to do more and more of those things over time. It's important not to just focus on the storage aspect as well, but the computational aspect of what the cloud can do for you. The client-server model went away quite a while ago. The ability now to deliver all of our applications as a service via the cloud, that's a reality today. And as capabilities for user interfaces become more ported from displays requiring a thick client to a thin client, such as a mobile device, that's also becoming more real. The ability for us to scale up the computing power of these mobile devices is making that a reality too. So as HP continues to innovate on the hardware front, making more devices like our tablet line more relevant to the enterprise, and they're, they're relevant today, they're, their computational power is increasing over time, the cloud is right there to be its back-end processing partner, as well as data storage. So the computational ability and the storage ability of the cloud really make location independence and delivery of those applications with that location independence reality. 
So then it, then it matters less uh, what device you have and more what the device can interface with? Absolutely. Uh, and it, it really depends. The applications themselves have always been king. It's just a matter of how do we consume them. The expectation from the consumer in the enterprise is that I'll be able to get access to my data absolutely on my, my desktop. That's transitioned in the last, what, decade from a thick client desktop with location strict dependence to a mobile client in the form of a notebook. Now the tablet is taking over from that, additionally with the, with the mobile phone as being a co-traveler. So screens are getting smaller, expectations are going up, the cloud is there backing it with that, with that ubiquitous connectivity to deliver a broader array of applications and their associated data on smaller and smaller screens with the same level of power as you would get 10 years ago from sitting at a desktop. That is uh, fairly transformative. Absolutely. All right, thanks guys. Thank you.